about three to four years into photography, I dove in hard. I mean, it just it just consumes me. Uh, it's one of those those hobbies that uh, you know you get into, and it just keeps drawing you in deeper and deeper and deeper. You know, some hobbies you get interested in, and then you get bored with, and you let them go. Uh, photography is not one of those for me. I, the, the more I get into it, the more passionate I get with it. And, uh, you know, I think as a photographer, uh, uh, especially a photographer that's just starting out, one of the main things you want to do is start putting your work out there and, you know, getting some feedback on it. You want to get it on Instagram. You want to put it out to Facebook or whatever it is you're using. For me, Instagram was my main platform to start putting my work out into the world and seeing what people had to say about it, see what, you know, if they liked it, see if they had any uh, negative comments or trolling comments about it. Um, you know, it, it, it's all feedback and it's all good when it comes to, you know, when it comes to constructive criticism and things like that. Uh, especially if people are leaving you positive comments, it really helps you kind of, you know, figure out what areas you should focus on. And so what I'm going to talk about today is what one of my biggest problems was when I first started out on Instagram and how I'm still kind of fixing and tweaking that problem today. But my, my feed made my work look a whole lot better after I started doing what I'm getting ready to tell you about. And I, it will definitely work with anyone else too that's in the photography field. This one tip can take your entire body of work that you're putting on Instagram and just raise it a whole nother level. It's a, it's a wonderful tip and you can put your own style on it. There's no, you know, there's no restraints on it. You can do whatever you'd like, but if you stick with this one tip, it's gonna definitely, definitely improve your work. But let's take a look at my wall and I can kind of give you an idea of my thought process as I progressed from being a brand new photographer to where I am today, which is, you know, three to four years in. Uh, I deleted a lot of the personal photos, but uh, I didn't delete them all. And now that I'm pretty far into my feed, uh, I don't really want to mess with with the rest of these, so I just kind of left them as is. But you can see they're just personal photos. And then right about right about here is where I started really getting into photography pretty heavy. And uh, it you can see that I'm starting to post some more type of landscape photos here. Uh, this was the trip, this photo right here, where I really nailed a capture that just kind of drove my passion towards what it is today. And so from there, I just started taking photos and, you know, I just post them as I saw fit. Uh, you know, when I got a good photo of a, of a beautiful location, then I went ahead and snapped it, edited it and put it on my Instagram feed. And you can see there's just not really a whole lot of uh, organization or a theme or anything of the sort. It's just photos. And some of the photos are really nice. I'm really happy with the way some of these photos turned out. But, I, you know, when I, I kept looking at my feet and I just wasn't the happiest with the feet. It just wasn't making things stand out the way that I wanted it to. And uh, I really started getting into waterfall photography, wooded scenes, really like that. And what I really had wish I'd done had, you know, was start creating a theme earlier and put these wooded scenes all in one column, put, put you know, the uh, sunsets and sunrises, which I hadn't quite got into as much in one column and, uh, you know, develop a, a, another theme for the other column. So right here is where I did start getting into the sunrises and sunsets. And so right about here is where I started kind of developing my my theme. And I wasn't quite sure what I was doing, but you can see these four photos here. Actually, it goes up further. They're, they're woodsy, they're waterfalls. It's kind of the same theme. And you can see here, we're going on with waterfalls and wooded themes here and right here uh let's see this was the first one no it's down here sunrise sunset sunrise sunset sunrise sunset wooded and water and so here's where my theme really started kind of developing 
And it's right about this time that I made the conscious decision. Okay. This column is going to be sunrise sunset. This column is going to be different series of photos from trips. So, uh, you know, I went on a trip to Minneapolis starting here. And so, you know, I started thinking, actually, this was the fall photos. So I started posting fall photos there. So uh, the fall of that year, I started posting all my fall colors. And then over here was woods and water. And you can see that theme developed. Sunrise, sunset, fall colors, waterfalls and wooded scenes. And it continues. Here is where the end of this series stopped. So this was the fall color series. Here is when I moved into a winter snow type series. Over here, I'm still sunrise, sunset. Over here, I'm still water. And you can see it develop more and more. And then right here, it changed. This is where my Vegas trip started. So I transitioned from winter snow to Las Vegas still sunrise sunset over here this was the costa rica transition so woods and water i was starting to feel pressured that i had to have certain photos uh all woods and water and i didn't like that feeling so what i thought i'd do is i'd transition this column now into series like this column so now this started my costa rica series and so these photos on up will be costa rica this is still las vegas and this is sunrise sunset And you can see that develop more and more and more. Now it stopped here. This was the start of a new series. So this was my beach series. And Las Vegas ended here and it started my Washington DC series. And so here the Washington DC series stopped and my air show series started. And now I'm getting a little closer to, you know, my, my uh, themes that are running now on my Instagram page. Uh, this was the um, back. Actually, it started back here. I was I thought I would transition from beach into the Abaco Islands in the Bahamas series, which I got quite a few nice photos. And so this series now is the Abaco Islands. And then here is the start of the Smoky Mountain series and the end of the air show series. So I'm still sunrise sunset on this column. And this column is a consistent column, and that's the way I wanted to keep it, and that's the way I want to keep it. I like the fact that this one is always color. It's, you know, reliably sunrise, sunset, and just bold colors. Smoky Mountains, still Abaco Islands, sunrise, sunset. And let's see, right here was the end of the Abaco Island series and the start of my Portland, Maine series. And so that brings me to the modern uh, photos that I'm posting now. So my thought now is I want to leave this column sunrise, sunset. But what I want to do with these two columns is instead of keeping them, you know, series of photos that change, uh, what I started seeing is my Smoky Mountains photos. I, you know, the, these were borderline sunrise, sunset, but they were kind of messing with the theme of my page. Uh, same thing over here. And, but I mean, it's a Portland, Maine photo here and it falls in that series and it's not quite sunrise sunset. So it's just kind of giving me a problem. So the way that I think I'm going to move forward is I'm going to transition one of these columns here into a moody column. And so I can group a lot of different photos into the moody category, you know, wooded photos, um, waterfall photos, you know, anything that's not bright skies and full of color will go in the moody photos. And I'm going to tend to kind of draw the saturation out of those photos and, you know, give it more vignetting on the photos and just try to bring in a moodiness to, to each and every photo. And if I always have that idea when I'm shooting, then I can shoot for that idea. You know, I can, all right, I need to get this into a moody photo. However, I'm not gonna let my Instagram wall define me as a photographer because ultimately me as a photographer is much bigger than my Instagram wall. 
uh, I want to, I don't want to put any constraints or ceilings on, on what I'm doing with my photography based on my Instagram wall, which is just, you know, it's social media, it's exposure, but at the end of the day, it is social media. I'm not just, you know, I, I don't even know where I'm going with my photography. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to sell photos or if I'm just going to continue to always do it just to, you know, just to, to satisfy the passion I have for photography. So I'm going to have sunset, sunrise, I'm going to have moody, and then my other column I'm going to transform into colorful. And so that should give me great contrast across the columns. Colorful, when I say colorful, I'm simply just saying uh, the, the saturation is going to be up. I'm going to have, you know, colorful, bold photos in that column, not sunrise, sunset. So in the future, you know, I want to make sure that if there's oranges, reds, you know, and it's that time of day where those those dramatic colors are coming out of the sky, I'm going to keep those all in the same column. My colorful column is going to be anything that is heavy in saturation outside of sunrise, sunset style photos. This would be a moody photo to me. This would kind of be a colorful photo. You see the co the colors hitting the rocks, uh, more of a moody photo, colorful photo. Uh, I think from here on out, I'm going to keep photos like this where they're borderline uh, sunrise, sunset, all in the sunrise, sunset column. This is a colorful photo. This would be a moody photo, colorful. This should probably be sunrise, sunset, uh, colorful. You see what I'm talking about. And so that way I think I can keep, I can get all the photos that I want and I don't have to worry as much about, you know, making sure the entire column is all from, you know, whatever trip I can, you know, I can alternate from trips and keep it interesting and just make sure I have the same uh, color theme. Now, in order to do this, there's several apps that you can use that will kind of line the columns up for you and show the, show you how they're gonna appear on your Instagram page. I use an app called Preview, and it just simply allows me to do, well, it allows you to do a lot of things. So what I do is I load all of my photos, or it lets you to do, I think, nine or 10 at a time, load those into the app, and then I can organize them, and it'll show me what my feed looks like in its entirety, and then I'll know exactly which photo to post when to make sure these columns stay in line. Because, uh, you know, it's a little bit complicated, to be honest with you, uh, when you don't have an app like this to make sure that you get the photos exactly where you want them. So let me know what you think. What do you, you know, do you organize your Instagram uh, feed? Do you, do you have any type of rhyme or reason to, to the way that you, you post your photos? Let me know if you think this is a good idea, a bad idea, or if you have any suggestions to, you know, how I should uh, arrange my photos. Once I started looking into uh, arranging the photos and, and installing a theme on the wall, um, it just made everything look better. And I definitely got a major boost in engagement. I had a lot more likes, I had a lot more comments. I was being seen more often and Instagram was kind of putting my stuff out there a little more. I just, you know, it just kind of snowballed and things got better and better and better. And I just think this this theme idea and this, this arrangement of your photos was, I think it's huge and uh, it worked for me and I've seen where it works for a lot of other people too. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not a professional at this. I'm still working with it. I'm still trying to, to get things just right. And so it's, it's, you know, for me, it's just about trying new things and uh, I'm excited to, to kind of start posting that theme. I'm gonna try to start it all at the same time uh, and that should be towards the end of the year. I'm already shooting and editing photos to gear up for it. Uh, when you're posting four or five, six photos a week, um, it, you, know, you need to have you know photos ready uh, quite quite a bit ahead of time. So I really appreciate you checking out the whole video, and uh, maybe it helped you out. Maybe you know you decided, hey, I want to get some structure, some organization into my Instagram feed. I can just tell you that it helped me a lot, and I've seen where it helps other people a lot because it just makes the entire wall so much more friendly to the eye and uh, therefore it makes everything look more professional and it just makes it look like you have a better idea of what you're doing and you're, you're good at what you do. And I mean, that's what learning is all about. It's transitioning from not knowing what you're doing 
to knowing what you're doing and, and then putting your style on things and, and making things look as good as you can. If you enjoyed the video, please share the video with your family and friends. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.